Hi, uh, my name is Ron Whittle. Uh, my first po poem is going to be, this is titled, this is from the boy who became a warrior, who became a man, who became a carpenter, who became a husband, who became a father, and somehow started writing poetry. I am a different person to different people, annoying some, talented to others, uh, quiet to a few, and unknown to a lot. But who am I really? A man, a poet, a realist, a visionary? Yes, no, and a good chance of maybe. And then, I don't know. And I have been misunderstood more than heard, but the reality of it is I am as you know me. Some days I like who I am, other days I don't know where I'm going. Someone once told me you are who you are until you're not. And I would like to know if, if once you are not, do you ever really know who you weren't? So this is where I shut, shut myself out, or put, this is where I don't shut myself out, or put nails in my door. I just need help in untying knots in my soul to find, find out if, if it is to be or not to be. And here there are phone calls of warning. The perspectives will change everything, not to let yourself to be conditioned into believing your pillow is wide awake at 3 a.m. choking on the misery, your head laid on it. This poem is called, It's Here Her Modesty Fears the Light of Day. You're my all day long, my tomorrow, and, and every day after. And I've come to the edge of where nothing can be said. It's all in what can be done, time and time again in darkness, until everything is blue again in the morning, in the holding of hands waiting for the suddenness of night to fall, to, turning to blue into black, where heaven has bared itself to pleasure, and we have set sail to tender places and to jasmine ports of call. This one is called, There's a Storm Gathering in Empty Spaces. Once I knew of a place where green and tan of summer grass covered rolling hills, where dandelions danced in the gentle summer breeze. This is where I was anointed with words and that fell over me like a fresh mountain stream. It was from here, there was the discovery of, of a voice, ever, ever so untrained and unclear, and would be on the rise. It was from, here that passion found a path to my heart. It was from here I took the fire and etched it, etched it into iron, all that I am. It was from here I watched a bird that flew from the finger of an angel as if it had found all the answers. And it was from here I chose to hold you in my dreams, for in my dreams you have no end. It's from here at great distance will, will it shield me from the pain from which truth can only be spoken in the silence of a memory. No? And where are you from? Where am I from? I'm from Worcester, Massachusetts. Okay. Um, you can read one more if you want. One more? Uh, let's see what I can do here. This one, as a matter of fact, I, I wrote uh, on, on the way here to this, this show today. It's called, uh, This is the Night Ahead. I Know I Can't Outrun It. There's nothing left except the darkness, strange lands, and the crashing, churning waves and there is no me after you. There is no smell of your sunshine left on my skin or the ocean breeze smile that lit up my heart and no hands holding hands that could tell stories of love, grass, and sand. And the springtime comes again whenever somebody mentions your name. You are my light that shows me the way and sometimes that scares me how much, uh, excuse me, how much you're on my mind. I don't wish to be a flickering circuit to a temperamental light that's on when it's on and sometimes when it's not. I love you far too much for that. Know that you, you're not contrived out of some other relationship. You're as ripe and as beautiful as any blossom God has ever made. You have the magic that glows and I will miss you until we can meet again. Thank you. Thank you so much.